Hey, I'm Theo from Minneapolis Make, and today I'm gonna to show you a family handyman video on how to make authentic looking barn wood from inexpensive pine. There are five easy steps and we'll go through them together. There's a few essential tools that we're gonna to need to get started. We need a hammer for denting the wood. We're also gonna use an awl for simulating wormholes and an X-Acto knife to distress the wood even further. Uh, the star of the show is an angle grinder with a wire cup wheel on it. That causes the wood to look, look weathered and will remove the softer parts of the wood so we get a good distinction between the grain lines. We also need a few different colors of stain. This will help give it that weathered look and a good contrast between the high and low parts of the board. Step one, we want to use our angle grinder to roughen the surfaces and edges of our board. Um, anytime I'm using a high-speed tool, I use safety glasses. And if it makes a lot of noise, it makes sense to throw on some ear protection as well. I'm starting here on the edges of the board, then working my way to the center. I can tip the grinder up on edge and really use the edge of that wire brush to dig in deep into the softer parts of the wood. What we're looking for is contrast between the soft bits of the wood and the harder pieces of the grain lines. Step two, we want to distress the wood even further using a hammer and awl. First off with the hammer, I'm just going to whack the wood a few times, get some good dents going in there. You can also use the claw into the hammer. We're just going for kind of a random pattern, imagining this board has been in a barn for a long time. Now I want to simulate wormholes. For this, I'm going to use an awl. You just take the awl, give it a kind of twist using your palm to get some nice pressure on there. You can even draw these out a little bit using the edge of the awl some more. And uh, that's it. Step three, we're gonna continue weathering. This time we're using an X-Acto knife blade. Um, you don't need to extend the blade too far and just draw it across the wood like this. This will help uh, draw out more contrast at when we apply finish. Step four is staining. We're gonna start out with our lightest colored stain and a roller brush. We'll apply this evenly to the whole wood. This is just gonna help give it kind of a richer tone than pine naturally has. Then we're going to come back over it with a nice dark brown color and we'll use a uh, cloth to blotch this in. The point of this is to accentuate the knots and the uh, darker parts of the grain in the wood. Step five, we're going to weather it with a gray stain. This we will also apply with a rag. You want to use a fresh rag. We'll have waited for the other finishes to dry. And then we're just going to go lightly over the top with long strokes to get a nice even layer on the whole of our board. And there you have it. We've created a weathered barnwood looking piece of wood from an inexpensive piece of pine. For more tips and tricks, please visit us at familyhandyman.com.